Hi, it's Juliet from My City Plants. Today I am repotting a root bound bird of paradise in a larger self watering planter. We sell self watering lechuza planters in our online shop at mycityplants.com and we ship planters nationwide. Today I am on the roof of our office building. Lucky for me, the weather is fantastic, so I can make this video here, as there is a much more room here than it is in our studio. Repotting this plant is going to be challenging, as the plant is really tall, plus it's really glued tight in its pot. Taking it out of a pot for repotting is not going to be easy. But I am up for the challenge and I feel confident I will complete this task today. If this is your first time here, I am the founder of My City Plants. I have been working with plants for more than 20 years. On this channel, I am sharing with you what I have learned about house plants, why we love and use lechuza self watering plants for our planters, how these planters works, how to treat different plant issues and how to care for plants and much more. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you do not miss any important information that will help you to have successful green relationship with your plants. This Birds of Paradise name is Agnes. About two and a half years ago, she was spotted in Cubico self-watering planter. This planter is 12 inch in diameter. The subrogation system is sealed inside the inner pot and the planter cover works as a plant stand which allows us to elevate plants from the floor level. So two and a half years ago, this girl was about four or five feet tall and now she grew up to be eight or nine feet beautiful lady. It grew fast because it was placed in a spot where it received plenty of light and Suzanne, the owner of the plant, clearly took a great care of this plant, otherwise we would not have it here. I am very happy to help my customer to repot this beautiful plant and using this opportunity to share the process with you. In order to bring the Agnes to our studio, the delivery team had to take the inner pot out of the planter's cover to safely fit the plant inside the truck. They had to put some extra efforts to do that. It was not possible to simply take the inner pot out of the cover. They had to use some tools to cut the planter cover to free up the pot because the plant roots are pushing so hard against the planter's wall. It got deformed, so it was stuck. Well done, team. Now I have the plant here and I can get to work. We have selected Classical 50 Lechuza self-watering planter for Agnes. This planter is 19 and a half inches in diameter. This is a low style planter. We do not want to repot Agnes in a tall plant as we want to make sure we provide enough room above the plant so it keeps continue growing. This planter, this model allows us to have an access to the plant's roots. When the plant roots grow and they get too long, too big, they're gonna start poking through the bottom of the inner pot. This will allow us to trim the roots and trimming the roots, guys, is not harmful to plants, but by being able to trim the roots, the plant can live and thrive in this planter much longer. Also, if you use too much water or water your plant too soon, the excess water can be easily removed from the cover, just simply emptying out. Besides the planter, here I have some tools that I might need to complete my task. Of course, my favorite gloves, spray bottle with water. I have paper towels knee pads if I need to kneel. I have some raffian bamboo sticks if, if I need to add some support to the heavy stems. I have sharp knife for pruning and sharp scissors for trimming. Overall, Agnes looks pretty good and healthy. Usually I start repotting process with pruning our plants, removing some bad leaves and pruning it back into the better, more narrow shape and then find the front of the arrangement, which helps me to create more balanced and proportional arrangement when I'm done. But because the plant is leaning so heavily, I do not really have a clear picture of how to prune it, what needs to be pruned. So I will do repotting first, and then I will do the pruning, trimming, and cleaning. 
the plant is leaning mostly because it was probably facing the light source. It was not rotated often enough, but also, of course, because it got so tall and so top heavy. I got my gloves on. I got my knee pads on. Now I can start taking this plant out of the inner pot. It is obvious that I will not be able to just simply take it out. It is so tight in the pot and it pushes against the planter's wall so hard. I would need to use this tool to really cut the plant and f the planter and set the plant free. Let's see if my tool is sharp enough. Yep, it works. All right, baby Agnes, you'll be free and in a new pot in no time. This side is done. Going to the other side and repeat the same process. Oh, look at all the roots. Wow, see how tight the roots are here? It's amazing. All right, so I have cut the planter on two sides and now you see, it's the plant is completely free from the planter. I'm gonna remove everything I can before I pull it out. And now I just have to take Oh wow. I really grew this plant. Oops. Okay. Agnes is free <laughs> now i'm going to check on agnes's roots i would need to loosen them up a little bit and get the parts of the subrogation system out of the roots as they are now tangled within the roots plus i want to loosen up the roots a little bit to give them to help them to open up faster when they're potted in a new when the plant is potted in a new planter well that was easy this part is out this part is out so let's see the roots overall look very healthy. Just trying to lean this girl so it doesn't fall as I need to get to the bottom of everything that is going on here. Even if it looks rough to you guys, there is no harm to plan. Even if I'll break a couple of uh, roots here and there. I know I still we have the... Just gonna use my scissors to prune some of the roots as I need to get the tray out of the roots. Oh my God, it's so much growing in there. By the way, guys, always make sure that the tools are really, really well disinfected with alcohol before you cut anything. So we don't spread any bacteria. I'm not sure if I can get the tray out of there. There's the tray. See this? Yeah. Wow, I will get it out of there a little by little. I managed to get smaller parts out and actually managed to get the tray because you see it was completely inside the root ball. I know it looks kind of messy. It looks worse than it is. Again, the plant will recover even if I had to trim or loosen up some roots. So now, the plant is ready to go into its new planter. Only chooser planters come with a special sap truck. It's called Pawn. This sap truck contains of natural minerals. It goes at the bottom of the inner pot. It works as a buffer between the water and the soil. It absorbs the moisture and then slowly releases it to the roots. 
The subirrigation system allows the plant to be in total control of how much water and how fast it wants to drink it. The water reservoir holds enough water to keep your plant hydrated for weeks. Even though the plant is not pruned, I still want to find a better looking side of the plant before I put it in the planter as I like the sub-irrigation, this water level indicator to be situated on the back of the arrangements for this cleaner, more finished look. While I was working on the plant, I really think that this part of the plant is much fuller. And I think that will be the front of our arrangement. Let me get around this girl. So now I added a little bit of soil at the bottom of the planter on top of the pond. And now I'm just gonna simply put the plant inside the pot. Woohoo! All right. I will, I will lean it a little bit backwards because the plant was leaning so much front. So now I'm gonna angle it a little towards the back to straighten it up. Yeah, there is a plenty of space for the Agnes to grow. And all I have to do now, I know, can you see me? <laughs> is to add soil into the pot. The soil that I am using is uh, good dirt soil. We use this product for many years and our plants love it. It's a peat moss based uh, potting mix and it's filled with all essential nutrients which will really really help Agnes to recover from repotting and root pruning much faster. So let's just go around plant and give it this nutritious soil. I am almost done. All right, baby girl. You are officially potted in a new planter. Now I'm going to put the inner pot inside the cover to complete the potting process. All right, now it looks finished. After, ooh, <laughs> after repotting, all plants need to be watered. I'm going to use about one gallon of water for this size of the plant. I want to make sure I'm using enough water so it reaches lower roots. Let me grab my watering can. Here it is. And uh, when watering your plants, just don't rush, do it slowly, so the soil has chance to absorb the moisture and the water not just simply running at the bottom of the planter. If you use too much water, don't worry, this planter has drainage and excess water will run into the cover. The way the self-watering system works, for the first three, four months, we need to water the plant through the soil. We need to provide some time for the roots to grow, open up, and adjust to its new pot. After three, four months, the plant is ready to use the reservoir and be in control of its water intake. Watch my detailed video, How to Water Plants and Lechuza Self-Watering Planters, where I show how to test the soil before watering, when and how to use the self-watering feature. The link to this video is in the video description. Now I'm getting to the fun part. I'm gonna prune the plant, remove all the bad leaves, trim the leaves that are damaged or dry a little bit. I'm gonna use a knife for pruning and I'm gonna use scissors for leaf trimming. I'm gonna start with pruning. So I don't need my scissors now. The first thing I see that the leaf right here is completely yellow. And this can be just simply the result of the plant of being so root bound for so long. I will definitely remove this. Once this leaf is out, I will see if I need to remove any other leaves 
to balance out and get the plant in a better shape. Let me get to this guy. And again, guys, always, always sanitize your tools before using. So I'm removing this leaf right here. I'm gonna make a cut on an angle. Yeah, that's it. And I'm going to cover it with the soil, the cut, so it heals better. Yeah, we have this leaf that can go, this leaf right here also. Try, I'm gonna clean up those old stems and cut them out. Let me see this leaf. Yep, can go as well. Let me step back and see what's going on. All right, now, since I removed some leaves on this side, this side looks so much fuller, disproportionately not even. So I'm going to remove a couple of leaves on this side as well. I'm gonna clean up this little cut here. And cover it with the soil. There's an old stem cutting here. Okay, let's see. I think I can actually remove this leaf too. Let me step back again. All right, we're looking better already. I am clearly, clearly have to use some bamboo stick support. You see how, how much this plant is leaning? So I'm gonna use some bamboo sticks to straighten it up. But I think I can remove these two leaves on the back. So the plant looks like it's been going to the gym for a while and got in a good shape. I think, I think pruning wise, I am done. Now I'm gonna check the leaves and see if any of them need to be trimmed. And I do see some dry edges, edges, some, some brown edges like this leaf right here. You see it has a little yellow line. I'm just gonna clean it up. Oh, look, yeah, the leaf got damaged. It didn't have enough strength to open up, so part of the leaf got caught up. And uh, I think what I'll do, I'll just trim it. I'll just trim this part. I'll try to make it look as natural as possible. It's not gonna be easy in this situation, but I'll do my best. And I want to continue and mirror the same shape on the other side so it looks more natural. All right. This is done. Let me see what else is here. There's a little yellow in here. I want to add a few bamboo sticks to support the leaning stocks to straighten them up. I'm gonna cut the bamboo stick on the angle at the bottom. Let me see how much I need to... Okay, I'm gonna find a spot as close to the pot edge as possible. I wanna make sure I have a good grip. Oh, yeah, got it. And see where I need to tie it. 
Yeah, it's probably good. Then I'm gonna use raffia to attach the linen stock to the bamboo stick. I might add another one in front of the stock because I don't think this bamboo is strong enough to really hold it. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, I see it didn't really do much work. So what I'll do, I'll add another stick in front of it. So this way I'll have two sticks supporting the stem. And again, I'm just gonna cut it on angle, go in front of the leaning stem, find a spot where I can more or less easily get it to the Is it holding it up? Yeah, I think it's good. Did it do the trick? Not really. So maybe I just need to actually do another one back here. Let's see. No, I can't really go in there. Let me find. Oh, what about here? This is a good spot. Yay! Yeah, that works. I will not be able to completely straighten it up, but at least I'll give Agnes some support. And if, uh, Suzanne, if you're watching the video, please rotate your plant and you can actually pay, put the back side towards the light once you get the plant back and the light will help to get the plant back into a straight shape. But this will definitely help a little bit. Let me see if I need to add a little bit to this guy. Yeah, maybe I'll just, I'll just put a stick in front of the middle. Cause I think it might help a little too. Let's see if my idea works. Cause as you can see guys, it is leaning pretty heavily and it's so root bound. I can't really find the spot. Yeah, my plan does not work. But what I can do, I can try and push the plant back. Woo! -hoo! Did I work? It did, right? Much straighter. Yeah, you see, no bamboo sticks really needed, but I'm glad I have this on the back here because this is the, the strongest, the thickest stock out of them all. All right, so now Agnes is repotted, straightened up, stocked up, trimmed up, pruned up, and only one thing I left to do is dust off the leaves and give it, this plant a refreshing mist. Here's my magic spray bottle. I'm just gonna spray leaves and wipe them off. Good thing that I am pretty tall, so this makes my job so much easier. Now, just final refreshing mist. Voila, I am done. Agnes had a complete makeover and now it looks amazing in her new outfit with her new hairstyle and she's happy, clean, healthy and ready to go back home. Check on your plants today to see if any of them need a bigger pot or maybe just a better pot. If I can do it, 
you can do it. Just put your gloves on and get to it. I guarantee you'll get lots of endorphins during the repotting process and plenty of satisfaction and feeling good once you're done. You can browse through our Lechuza Self-Watering Planters playlist where you find the videos about different style and sizes of Lechuza planters. We sell self-watering planters in our online shop at mycityplants.com and we ship them nationwide. If you have any challenges with repotting root-bound plants, please share your story with me in the comments below. Like this video if you did, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and have a green day.